John two runners from your stable at Caulfield on Saturday start off in the 1400 metre mares with High Delicious. How she come back from the break? Come back really well, Edward. We uh, had thought about maybe giving her a cups preparation and decided against it. Uh, feel that she's probably mentally and physically not quite fully matured yet. So uh, we're going to go for the softer option and uh, get her ready for the Sandown Classic. Uh, so she kicks off her preparation on Saturday in the 1400. Uh, she's not wound right up for it, but it certainly wouldn't surprise me to see her run well. She ran over 1400 first up last time in at Flemington and ran second in that race. Uh, how does she compare to how she was then? Probably not quite as forward, not quite as forward, but in saying that she's, uh, she's had a, ca a campaign under her belt and, um, you know, she doesn't carry a lot of condition. She's quite, uh, quite a athletic so um, you know she's forward enough to run well but it probably uh, you know might be third fourth or fifth something like that. She attracted a lot of attention during the Brisbane Carnival for having barrier issues have they been sorted out? Uh, we feel they have um, now we put uh, uh, we put the barrier blanket on in the derby and um, she behaved herself well and went away well there. She's had two jump outs here at Flemington with the blanket on again and there's been no issues. So hopefully, uh, you know, that's all behind us. Drawn 14, Damien Oliver rides. Where would you like to see her in the run? Look, um, she was probably going to go back no matter what she drew, but drawing that alley at the 1400 at Caulfield, um, uh, w we would have no option but to go back. And the how now stakes Sister Madley having her first start from you, for you. Uh, how she come from the break? Really good. Um, very pleased with her. We were fortunate enough to, uh, to get her to train for a start. Um, she had three weeks with us up in Brisbane when we had the other horses up there. And then she spelled at Sedge and Ho. She's come back here and um, she hasn't put a foot wrong since, she, since she's been in work. Uh, she's had a jump out here at Flemington and a trial at Cranbourne, which she's won both those. Um, I couldn't be happier with her. She's going to be very competitive, um, you know, a very, very good chance of winning. But in saying that, she comes up against some good, good mares and uh, some mares that probably are a little more forward than her. But uh, I expect her to run very, very well. She's had a number of injuries throughout her career. How's her condition? Yeah, no, um, we've been able to keep, keep her sound at this stage. She's, uh, uh, she's in really good fettle at the moment, so hopefully we can keep her that way. And I think that's the key to her, to keep her sound and keep her happy. And um, no, she's, uh, she's ready to go. And what's the plan with her after Saturday? Well, we'd like to, uh, you know, she's Group 1 placed. She's a, she's a group winner. But the, uh, the, the thing we'd like to add to her, seat, to her CV is, is a Group 1. And um, the, this time it would be the, uh, uh, this campaign it would be the Maya Stakes, and, um, or the Maya Classic, as I think it's called, on Derby Day for the Mayors. Uh, she's run second over a mile before in the, um, in the Flight Stakes behind Moore, Moore Joyce. And um, so that's the race we're aiming for. Um, that's her grand final this spring.